no interruptions Stereos pumping from the dungeon Coming live from Flappers Junction And making it hard to function Breaking down your sound systems And governmental corruption So step aside pumpkin Quit jumping to assumptions The illest cats to ever rap We spitting crackle hits and crap So patience, Nathan I make that up for simple checks You resist the fact That we're about to bring it back Then spring in action Right until your motherfucking pencils crack Shit, I'm here all night I wanna hear it, that embarrass it Hair on sight They don't expect to be saved without a hero in sight Cause my microphone is hotter than that We're here at the Yarra Boulevard today Trying to get my fat ass back into shape I did about 10 one and a half minute intervals at Warmer Street It's about, I don't even know how long it is But it's enough to suck My nipples are so hard right now, dude They could fucking, I could hold up a gas station with them Just after you get to that grey, like, fucking Hilux You literally feel your soul starting to get sucked Nine more I think I was questioning life on that one. These roadworks motherfuckers trying to fuck up my day. I don't want to talk about it. See his break. Oh, oh. It's like you're getting fucked in the ass. No shit. That was my fucking split. No one says you gotta enjoy doing it to actually fucking do it, man. Today's my day off training, so I usually come out here and do some intervals. I think I've done like 20 rounds up this hill before. That's when I was really skinny fat and in decent shape, but I'm far from that right now, which I'm kind of happy about. But anyway, on my days off training, I come out here and try and get some riding in. You know, just trying to prevent fucking obesity and be in good shape. I need some food before I go into a hypoglycemic coma. Arabs have been migrating to Australia since the late 1800s, bringing along with them their culture. I'm a first generation Arab Australian, and let me tell you, without us you'd all be eating fucking Chico rolls for breakfast. That being said, we're in the unofficial Little Arabia here in Melbourne. This is your one stop go to shop for anything fucking Arab related. Even if you've got a white girlfriend you want to get her fitted out in a burqa, they do that here. We're here today at A1, the mecca of all things store here in Brunswick. We're here today to find out what it means to be Lebanese and what it means to bake good bread. We're here today at A1 with the unofficial owner, Hakeout Raji. How long you been here for? Oh well, the business has been here for about 24 years. My dad started it, so I would have been probably about three years old, I reckon. I was negative two at that time. I wasn't yeah. conceived yet. He was here on the. He was here when we opened, actually. So this yeah. guy was rolling bread for your mum when she first came to Melbourne. He's a veteran. This has a fucking aroma that you can't smell through a camera. This is next level. Hey, bro, tell me, fill me in on the ingredients of the zaza today. There's people trying to tell me there's basil in it. No, it's I don't taste no uh, basil. It's oregano and thyme. It's hey. oregano, thyme, sesame seed, sumac. You sell a lot of that more than anything else. That's probably our high, the thing that we sell the most, I reckon. We sell hundreds a day. I wasn't. I'm not even fucking lying to you guys, bro. It's the best fucking shit. We got to talk to the guy who puts the bread in the oven. He looks like he's got a story. Got to this is Mo as well, uh, aka Abu Khadr. He's been here for a good 17 years. 18. 18 years? Yeah. There you go. 18 years. 18 years. Because yeah. I'm Abdullah and they call my dad Abu Abdullah. Yeah. 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 I want to have like, what's the Chinese yeah. name? Li. Like, Abu Li. Abu Li, there you go. Abu Li. Abu Li. Abu Li. Abu Li. Abu Li. Abu Khadr. Abu Khadr. There you go. Rima's been here for 19 years as well. Hi. She's been in the game for a long time. Fastest rapper you ever see. My uncle used to work at like a falafel shop. Yeah. And the hands to be able to pull it off every day, it's something else. No, she's got quick hands, man. Tell them the importance of rose water, especially in Arab desserts. Oh, mate, you can't have Arab dessert without a bit of rose water. That's not Arab dessert. It's a weird concept when you think that you were eating the water, water of like a, a flower. But until you try it, it's it's some. I grew up on Mahalabia. You know Mahalabia? Yeah. 
I don't even They're want to talk good. about it, dude. I'll start crying. But you can't beat pomegranate molasses, man. I know molasses is off the hook yeah. just in general, and so can, pomegranate, uh, yeah. Some people start to mix with vodka as well. Okay. Vodka soda, a bit of yeah. pomegranate molasses goes well. Uh -huh. That's a culture type of drink. So exactly and right. And this year right here, dude, halawa. 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 It's a dialect, you know? It's a dialect thing. This stuff here is crap. I lost 40 kilos on halawa. 40 kilos. I was clinically you lost, obese. You lost it. On halawa, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably get fat if I ate it now, dude. But back then, dude, I was like, yeah, dude, not this stuff diet. will make you want to run through a fucking wall. Well, now wall. they've got sugar-free halewa, believe it or not. Don't, don't believe it, dude. Trust yeah. me. I was, I've was i seen the sugar-free stuff. Talk it's the you. same calories, dude. It's a labeling It's a labeling loophole. So stay away from this thing. Stuffed vine leaves in cans, they're actually pretty good. Mate, you need, you need food in your life. Full was what? Fava beans? Fava beans. That's the exact brand I grew up on, Jess. The exact brand. Those fool me, this is a story of my childhood. We're about to get a 101 on how to fry falafel. Personally, from the unofficial owner. We gotta make fat pieces for you, man. Thank you. Do you hear that oil? That's the soundtrack to my life. Well, now we've just got a bit of lettuce, tomato, uh, pickled cucumber, you have to have pickled cucumber, and turnips, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, tahini. Mm -hmm. And our special homemade falafel, man. The color of this falafel, I'm excited to eat this, bro. The color of this falafel is screaming to me right now, bro. This is fresh. I can't wait to get this down my esophagus. Now, you know what, bro? Honestly, tell them the significance of the design of this bowl because every time I'm overseas, I almost get arrested by customs because I bring back 100 kilos of these fucking plates. Oh, yeah, no, they're all. You can't eat Arabic food out of a plate that's not designed like this, No, no, you need, you need the specially designed plate. People come, they migrate to Australia on boats. On boats. They won't even bring their fucking passport, but they will bring this. This is everything. That's the way it is. This is Zata with veggies. The weight of this dough is so lightweight. I feel like I could run a marathon right now. Wow. I don't even need to finish chewing it. That's how you know it's good. If you take one bite, you don't even finish chewing it and the flavor's already exploding in your mouth, you know it's good. I love the dough, because it's nice and soft. It's also very lightweight, and it's also crunchy on the ends, so it hits all the profiles. I like it with fresh veggies. Shout out to my boy for fucking recommending that, because it's nice, it's like a contrast. I mean, I hate cooked tomatoes on cooked food. And then the zaatar on here, it's a great mix. It's got the perfect amount of oil in it. I mean, without oil, I mean, you can't build a mountain without olive oil. Just like you can't have a good zaatar mix without olive oil. It's the cohesive, it's the glue, it's the fucking yin and yang dude of the whole party. You see that steam? One day we're gonna get the technology to be able to pull that off, YouTube money. I'll make myself a little falafel sandwich, dip that in a bit of tahini. Need the pickled veggies in there. Let's see, bro. How do people eat falafel without tahini? Honestly, dude, it's like the zaatar without oil. You need it to be a part of your life. It's a, it's a pivotal part of the dish. Look, I've had some terrible mix in my life, and this isn't one of those. This is an amazing mix. And the outside of this is fried to perfection. It's so crunchy, dude. This is health food. Like, I feel healthy eating this, dude. Look at the color of this. This ain't hater food. Haters don't eat this food, it's too bright, vibrant for them. Fuck you. I'm on an A1 height right now. You take your falafel, you wrap it in the bread. This is how you take your ordinary shot and you get Shaquille O'Neal to slam dunk on your fucking taste buds, bro. It's a lifestyle. The tanginess of this spinach and they got little bits of sumac in there, dude. It really sets it off, and I love this pastry. It's a tiny bit thicker. This is fucking athlete food. I feel so proud to be Arab and eat here. This is the kind of stuff that makes my heart melt, and I feel like I just want to throw my fist up in the air and yell Allahu Akbar after this. Thank you for the meal, man. Thank you, pleasure's all mine, Thank you, thank you. That's, thank that's you probably much. the number one most hospitality I've ever been shown with food in my life. I feel, dude, I feel famous. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Thanks for coming, That's what man. happens to you as a fucking big great it. YouTube celebrity. Funny's got on YouTube, check Thanks, him out. Thanks, If you ever, I'm gonna leave the, uh, the uh, address in the description below. If you're ever in Melbourne, I'm sure everyone in Melbourne's already eaten here, but if you're not from Melbourne, you're coming, if you're coming to Melbourne, and you find yourself in Brunswick or you want to come to Brunswick, this is probably the only place you need to eat. 
avoid the start of uh, Sydney Road. You don't want to end up Thanks there. Thanks for that. Unless Thank you go on the coals. Since when can cars fucking turn from there? We're on a grab and go mission right now. We're about to enter Woolworths. You guys can't comprehend how cold it is in Melbourne right now. This weather is the only time it looks like I have no gyno because my nipples are so hard. If I catch you in the fast lane, stopped, I'm gonna shoot you, dude. I'm a retired athlete, you catch me in the slow lane full time now, it's about recovery. I'm not actually gonna shoot you. Wait here, I'll be back in a minute. Jess, this is how I spend most of my days now, man. Walking from supermarket to supermarket. It's an endless pursuit for specialty and imported products. That's definitely my favorite hometown in terms of like just general products. That other Japanese one sells some dope Japanese products like that spices and all the things you seasoning you put on your sushi rice. They really need to turn that off after like midnight because every time I come out here at like four in the morning, it's like some Freddy Krueger type shit and it's like a horror movie. And then you got the dark horse experiment next to it. They're playing some sick fucking games. I'm at a point in my life now when I only want to eat my ice cream with a long dessert spoon and out of the tub. It actually feels like I'm tasting fucking coconuts right now, dude. This ice cream is the best ice cream that So Good ever came out with. I've been drinking So Good since I was a kid. A kid, okay? I wasn't breastfed, I was So Good fed. Hope you enjoyed the video. That share, comment, subscribe, share with your mum, share with your sister, share with your friends, share with your spouse, share with your If you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, fucking YouTube, like, shout out to my boy H. I'll see you on a fucking tube tomorrow, like, peace.